continue with our um, year diagram. Okay, move on to our year diagram over here. Now, as a result of that, you and I are going to learn how to design this schema and sub schema. Yeah, here, uh, you know, yeah, but we're designing the schema how it should look like. Okay, I need it, I know. I'm pushing on and coming out with this uh, basis here. I'm coming out with uh, Microsoft. He be you and not idea designing. Okay. Mm. Everybody see here, please. Uh huh. Sorry. Yeah. All right. So this is the entities. These are the entities. Okay. These are the entities we have. Okay. I mean, I mean, zooming here. In close to close to some of them, you know, online studies they say I never you and break up them on money. How we pray, okay? Uh -huh. Right, so this is the uh, okay. So this is the entity <coughs> entity piano uh, represented by a rectangular, but we when we are more because my inner square it's like a rectangular, okay? And to the finest are a rectangular. Okay, I just square. Any entity is rectangular. Why is it a rectangular? Because uh, we are going to use it to define the schema and the sub schema. Okay, so an entity could be called one of the boxes. Now, the other one, rectangles. No, if it be after one of the entities here, I'm not saying you are going to do it too. Uh -huh. If it be after one of the entities here, maybe. Um, um, Students, okay. Student, okay. Let me have friend, no students. You let me have friend, we're in Sudan. You let me have friend, we're in Sudan. Department or courses? Any course answer? Courses. Lecturers. 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 Or lecture. Lecturer. Okay. Right. Now, students cause lecturer. They are all entities. Okay. Entities. Okay. I was it. Remember, all the entities will have their field names, isn't it? All of them will have their field names. Mamin Koku be. In person, maybe we see time in writing. The one of the tables are yeah, this started here. Yeah, one of the notes are yeah, this here. A B Y, right? All these things we need to take time to walk you through to understand, because I told you here, we want to work class. We be online shop. We be business. You will have to design your own database. What data do I need? What data do I need? So, uh huh. And I mean, zoom away. So, I mean, zoom on. Um, okay. So, I mean, zoom away. I mean, fat tables. No, I'm right. So, right. So this is this is our table. Okay, this is our table. I have to you. We, we. Oh, examples of a database is the same as a table. Okay, remember, answer na eba be yin wino. I started from here diagram. Look at the students. I mean, since you view, so that you don't want to hear. Because I don't want to banal. Hmm. Because I don't hear me. All right. So this is the student. Okay, this is the student. What's it? A entity. A entity. Now this is the name of the entity. I told you it is called also a relation, a table entity relation. Okay, this is the name of the entity. Now what is the schema? The schema now now I start student name, student number, class and department. Okay. A study from here diagram point of view. Aha no. Aha no. Any. You understand? Who 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 like this? 
who we as an entity okay who is a, a entity but remember I will schemes and sub schemes in it and of course as well and I let you answer it and also a wall all right the answer to us in the only the student in it and of course course also here yeah, entity all right it's also entity but remember yes or your entity from here diagram then we will be not gonna say you know see it must have a schema called cost name another schema called cost number another schema called credit another schema called what department okay it's also an entity called prerequisite it has a cost i mean a schema called what uh, uh cost number and the prerequisite number okay sub schema is not the data no meta data okay meta data no any okay data about data any so schema schema and the sub schema okay data about data no and now we will student in one this is a schema this is the the, the schema that's the field names no and all remember field names no and know your data definition language and i'm out why i'm out to me field names and how can I say student name and your character and our test listen and your test and our number and some start name now who are you know behind the scene you know you decline i'm on the the man of data types you become on the data types which is a walk back and then all i could be sound say and your character and our and your integer and our and your number okay student number there and also any integer and as any test and as any character listen test and character they are the same but only said they are used in different contexts oracle they will use character and now microsoft access and so you see the test okay now now phase of 17 once you know who are no what was it um under the student name what was it from the smith how many characters are there how many characters and you say s m i t H E hey, how many characters? Five. Five characters me what? Mm -hmm. The five characters, so remember, some five characters is so under the student name, field name, no data type, you know. I will find a character. And I have two or ten. Do you remember we wrote ten? Emma, I will test no. And no no no. Ya catch the data. It's the any character which exists ten. A good ten now, Emma no coin. You understand? And your data definition language in the mass edge man, Emma coin. I hope it's clear here. Right. Student number. How many characters are they? You will say a year. You can hear the partner. So, maximum character is two. Two characters. And also, your man will say on your integer. On your integer. And also on your test. Depending on whatever we say. A year test, I don't know the same thing. I know my integer. You see, am I a test? No? You are restricted to what? Two. A year two. Maximum of two. It means which was 17. It means answer true eight. Eight days only for look below 17. But the matter is over. All right. So we move on. On the class, how many characters? You can see here. A hano. How far no? Either integer or a character or a test. Okay. In the woman no integer in here. And as a man the test in here. Who some specify how many characters? How many? And you say say a say a a tester. And my how many characters? How many characters now say the pattern is shown no maximum character remember all these things are management policies all these things are what management policies and then department you understand department to they are data we want to collect from the department you understand so that one too is it going to be an integer or a character or a test all these things must be known and you won't say Say an integer and as a character, they are on send them my coin. Now you have to see as computer science department. Oh, how many characters should it be? Two. Anything I need to make sure C and S for both Brown and Smith. Oh, all these things originated from the logical design of the entity. In the way they are the programmers now. No more translated from the logical design of the entity in the programmer be a programmer or programmer right from the plan ah management the man now whoa i hate you know the reason why we are wasting our time here is that you are going to be part of those who are going to what come out with the logical structure of the table i'm not collecting data i am relevant to you people 
And I want to say no dimika. Now so go over to program one. You are making a mistake. You don't understand what you are doing. You understand? So you must understand it from this point. It is like a typist who is typing from a manuscript. Somebody wrote the manuscript for the typist. So all typing they remember the need to add to change or check characters and now typo. It means he's translating the manuscript onto reality. Alright? So that is it. So students, that is it. And then also course, that is it. We will say a table, but it originated from what? Entity relationship diagram or ER diagram. Alright? So why we do we call it relationship? Because a little bit of Student and course, they must be interconnected. The data in student, I will say, you find me that data and also a war course. Let's think carefully. The data is in student uh, for Smith or whatever. Data, any data, this is the schema, the structure of the table. And not data, okay? In the data of data, any any the actual data now we 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 Right, so that is it. We have defined it. We have defined the field names. All right, so that is it. Course also the same. Course is also the same. We also course name table. And I say the the what do you call it? The schema. And also the what Okay, the schema is also here. And the the name course name, course number, credits, any department. Now the metadata or the the sub schema, and also now uh, introduction to computer science, data structures, discrete mathematics, any database management. We will now any schema we now put in the metadata, metadata, data of data. Okay, data of what data? All right. So we have also prerequisites. Prerequisite we have course number and this. Remember, we mean data definition language in a yes edge we mean on one way and I define it the name of the table, the structure of the table, and then the substructures, the real data now you a gumino. Without the data definition language in ka student table mm -hmm. in ka course table mm -hmm. prerequisite mm -hmm. session grid report mm -hmm. and ka mm -hmm. So when we come down to this, I have all way. Yes, we will roll like this. Who will also roll like that? Okay, who will also roll? And who will also be a roll? But remember, something goes within. Okay, something goes within. So, student, entity, and then course what? Entity. And then lecturer, entity. Alright. What does it? Okay. Now, so these are the, these are the entities that we have. Okay. Now, the entities must be related to each other. Let them be kind of from the, from the details now here, no? so students and course, you understand, must be related. Okay, student and course must be related. Course and lecturer must be related. Students and lecturer must be related, related as well. All right. So let's see, let's see the relationship. There is a concept of one to one. There is a concept of one to one. I'm coming. Okay, I think my phone is bailing. So let me go and take it. Okay, we possible for Alright, so we, we move on. We move on to uh, the relationship. The relationship. It won't say we can we cannot so what the what the this entity and uh, 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 somebody who is who is who a novice on TSC. But this is the building block. Of the design, you understand? In two design we are and sana. What is the name? You know, then we give that who design we are. We, we, we are that way, and that way, you know, it hasn't done anything until you come out with the schema and the sub schema, the schema and the metadata. Who here, the way I structure, I never say, you know, I 
Even one of the structures, Sekasi student number, any integer, one of the who, as part of the design, one of the can say the the student ID should be integer or a test. Now what's the actually we say? So be a test or integer, how many characters? How many characters should it be? I always clear here. Uh -huh. So entity relationship diagram is the building block. So when you make mistakes in the entity relationship diagram, then it means that the whole programming will come out with so many bugs, viruses. And run it. I was a mother there. Yes, every programming a BIA on this year, you be a computer scientist, be a person programmer, anything must begin to learn entity relationship diagram. Oh, it's a not it's, 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 it's a special area for you, accountant that will train you in computing, accounting with computing. Who and I will go design the entities and what designing the logical structures that's a schema and the sub schemas. A woman and some I am a programmer, so be careful. What was your we influence women? You understand? No design. Alright. So let us move on. Let us move on. Alright. So Yanke, one of the maybe schemas I ah, meet me after. Could be oh wait, uh -huh, wait this one is not allowing me to do the tables to do the tables with the, with the, with the computer science then uh ever mama okay so scheme is any scheme is not any the field names no okay scheme is not is the field name and then the sub schemas are the real data that you are going to put into the the the, the entity all right okay now the air kind of said the entities must relate themselves into uh, they must relate to themselves okay and to relate themselves or to relate them we have, in simple terms, we have um, one, what is it? Excuse me, sorry. I just want to make sure. Okay, so to relate them, let me open another, another, another sheet. Or, uh, yes, if, if to relate them, we have a concept called one to one one to many and many to many one to one i mean concord you have a hand for me i mean concord you have a yes so i'm trying to mm. ah. my Data we have um, relationships, okay. Relationship or entity relationship, okay. Entity relationship. Right, so entity relationship, you see, yeah. only a two point one six developing basic schema, developing basic schema is the relationship that must actually exist between the two. Once entity relationship has been identified and defined, the first draft of the entity relationship diagram can be created. This section introduces ER diagram by demonstrating how to diagram binary relationship, recursive relationship and also uh, recursive relationship and also what is recursive relationship are also shown so you have to the relationship and um, I mean I'm not going to move to the binary because it is not it is it is uh, um, well let's go on let's go on so one of the relationship is binary but it shows examples of how diagram one to one one to many and many to many relationship Okay, so it's medical can we have medical that one of the relationship should be 
I, the relationship between student and lecturer or student and course it means that data a what student you know, it must be here it, it must be here data a what course you know, so it must be in lecturer data a what lecturer you know, so it must be in students you understand and one of them I bet with the know a year binary relationship and then the said data no the relationship no you better define on as one to one or one to many or many to what many but somebody has ever okay so we move on we move on we move on so but you buy see uh one young one but yeah I do not yeah I think uh and yeah yeah we are drawing nearer to uh the projection you see ah so I mean show back one in really they are for your design also on the you were one to one employee so any all mine the workstation workstation means maybe your the office will be your wall okay office will be your wall please let me i'm not confusing you students course employee on her workstation okay employee workstation but the matter is here it's the same so we can follow the bar mr sam and the same employee workstation okay that's the entity relationship diagram now or see see because it be a one-to-one -one relationship it means that one employee on the zero pleasure one employee is assigned to one workstation and he wants a local office beyond one one employee beyond one one workstation but your castle workstation is the same as uh, this now saying offices now but once at this this time a new rooms be new also what the china system be the above one more uh over corner may hold kakra kabi a jimu kakra once after you the desk you divide the idea the desk and divide will be our one idiom we are ready but the three are one desk one a ubit near fadipa bear four oh if i'm about four hours it will be our one workstation i have total no i amount to what four but i'm not going to say a workstation all right so also one employee is assigned to one workstation station internet one to one okay every employee is assigned one workstation not all what workstations are assigned to employees to one employee one employee is assigned to what one workstation okay but you let me kind of say not all employees are assigned to workstation women in our workstation if you know if you know what i've been working as drivers and they don't have a workstation but what is there uh -huh. so they come not now and then there's a room not all employees are assigned one state one station so that's it not all employees are assigned to a workstation and now you can say one station is assigned to one employee okay that is it right so that is the concept that's the concept but it was what the other language that we can also talk about so far as the relationship is concerned is one to many one to many let's look at department and projects department and then what projects maybe you know by you know so with your by entity relationship also now look at that one to many one department on the other one i show you have you seen where the case is right one department is responsible for zero or one projects or many projects sorry one department is responsible for zero no project at all or many projects a department may be responsible for many projects okay for many projects or at least one project department behind this is a project within the contest then one department is responsible for at least one project you understand or many projects okay one department bit my said a jimano right then we have many to many that is employee and projects employee and projects you there many or at least one employee has at least zero or one okay it's assigned you see it's assigned to many projects i just say zero and i said many projects or many projects is assigned to at least one 
or many employees many to many okay <coughs> that is it right so let's move on so employee may be assigned zero many zero many projects or every project has assigned is assigned at uh, what at least is assigned to at least one employee i think the interpretation is wrong here on tias here okay that is it that is it so that is the binary okay that is the binary right so from this we can say that let's go back let's go back so we can so that we can say that figure 1.1 shows an example of a one-to-one -one diagram reading the diagram from left to right represent the relationship every employee is assigned a workstation because every employee must have a workstation uh, employee need computer station there workstation back another word for workstation is a computer okay will be our workstation will be our workstation means on a desktop or laptop the symbol for mandatory existence in this case the crossbar is placed next to the workstation entity okay reading from the right to left the diagram shows that not all workstations are assigned to employees no 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 and it will be this condition may reflect that some workstations are kept for spares or for loans therefore we use symbols for optional existence the circle next to employees all right okay all right so all these things are business rules and it must be translated okay it must be translated into the program all right so let's move on to this so what can we say here we have the concept one-to-one -one relationship and then we have a concept one-to-many relationship and then we have a concept many-to-many -many relationship so let's we are coming back to the student course and that relationship okay so what we say now one student one student can be related can have one course one student can have one course so let's see how to do the relationship to do the relationship insert you select the shapes you click on this one and then there's a mandatory line we come out with a mandatory line okay we come out with a mandatory line okay so one student okay that this is a relationship this is a relationship one student can have but this is a mandatory relationship anyway we are yet to define we are yet to define so how do we do the other one in set we have we are further going to define okay in set shapes then we can also say one student you see one student strong can have what can register for how many courses if the policy says the, uh, the student can register for one course then this is how it's going to look like one to one okay but we can also bring our zero let me see whether i can locate zero in the ships what is zero 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 all right let me see okay i think i've seen some zero here we can also bring zero here if you you are learning okay and you're in a rush it's not in a rush you are going to design this as part of your uko interview here you said you we say yeah okay so zero or one student can register zero yeah you you probably be some questions can register zero can register zero or one course i think it is a relationship management the policy we are here back and now who domain experts you know accountant who are here the winner brown it is a policy what will you tell management zero or one student can register zero or one course it's a policy it's a policy now would that be possible this very semester 
how many courses have you registered? You as a student. How many courses have you registered? At the big tech level. I think you are doing about five or six courses, isn't it? You are doing about five or six courses. So if we ask the system designer to design it in such a way that only one student can register for only one course, it means that when the person registers, you understand, or twenty fees does also register only one course. And a computer number man coins are unregistered for the semester. Would that be possible? Is that the amount you paid for it? Now, in Japan, it's a hyper map. Database is very rigid, which means that a very modular course. You find a modular course. A modular course, the one student is allowed to register for one course. Okay? When you pass that course, then you are allowed to register for another course. A modular. So ACCA, ICA, and so forth courses. No, nah, no. Nah, I register professional courses. And you like a modular. That one there, it is one student to one. But I mean, po, I mean, po, there must be flexibility. Other than that, because somebody would want to register about four. Somebody would want to register about five or six. It is the man with flexibility here. Okay? So let's see. Sebana Sadia. But I will give a relationship now. Sebana Sadia. Then constantly, you know, can say zero or one student should be able to register for at least zero, one, or many courses. Okay? Let's look at that. Let's look at that. We, because we are going to use Microsoft Assex to do that, you ready? You I mean, in in, in Oracle, you ready? Oracle be shoot like this. Basically, so we move on, and then we many, you know, you know, many. Okay, again, many. All right. So it means that it means that. Zero or one student, either say semester or work on map, or one student can register zero, one, or many courses. But the matter is, I don't know many you are handling. I don't know many you are handling. Oh, so I bet the cross foot, many no na wumu are handling. I say crow. What call it be? What call it be? What call it be? You know, if I say. Is it or the the crow the crow the war or the black and white no feathers no one said one more nine is like a crow is a a baku a nimu and a two a war in change you okay and you should the cross foot to signify the bunny side of the table <laughs> I hope it's clear here so zero or one student can register you understand at least zero one or many relationship you understand i mean many courses okay the same way you make my interpreting is zero one or many courses can be registered by zero or one students you can hear you make me the way amount i will interview or a jewel yeah can interpret okay we will interpret it it means you know you have a you have a you know so then what is the relationship that must exist between students and or course and um, course and uh, course and lecture what relationship do you think must exist between course and lecture okay one can say this course and lecture course and lecture it means you don't know one to one TNA how to design one to one relationship a player ships select the bar and then you bring it here it could be there let me try to see it could be here insects who is an old gentleman you know as part of your work this you can insect okay and then you come down Right. So it could also be this. She has idea with you. You need to learn this carefully. Okay? 
So we try and see, or we make me I know directly, but sometimes we make me I know and we see. So what would be the relationship that must exist between cause and lecturer entity? Now it could be that we can define it. When it may be planned, say well, the students or the the, the course zero course. What am I going to go for? I'm going to go for insects, shapes. Zero. Yeah, yeah, bah. Zero. Either they can zero. It means a no course is assigned to the lecturer. Okay. Zero. And then zero. Shapes. Okay, so when it is zero to zero, <laughs> it means that the lecturer is not being assigned any course to teach. You understand here? When it is zero to zero, so far student and course is a, a concern. It means that the student has not registered. The student has not registered. If the student has not registered, it means, I mean, some, some of you mostly, you have not registered for the semester, for the second semester. Some of you. So I use this opportunity to also uh, advise you to go and do the registration. Other than that, I think uh, when you write your exams, uh, they will not be able to, you will not see your results at all. You will not see your results. Right. So, you see, course and lecturer, we can be, it can be zero and zero. Zero and zero means that the, no course has been assigned to the, to the lecturer. All right. Then we can also move on. I mean, uh, it means that what is the point of employing the lecturer? If it is zero to zero, well, it may be that the course, the lecturer hasn't got a specialty in that area. Okay, but I'm going to say this what is the point of employing him? Because they're redundant. The, the lecturer is employed purposely because of our speciality. You understand? So let's move on. So this is for academic purposes. It's not zero to zero, I will move For academic purposes. Zero to zero is what I will move It is not real. And then we are say, students, a bit to any fees. Now, I mean, what, what is the point of the talk? About the talk forms? What is the point of affiliate forms? Normal admission letter. You understand? So I get zero to zero. That it means that zero, zero, zero to zero. It means the person is not admitted at all. The same way zero to zero course to the lecturer. So there's any more relationship zero to zero. What is the point of employing the lecturer? So much many redundant than that. No. So we must move further to redefine the relationship. So to define the relationship again, that is what we are going to say. Shapes again, and then um, one. So zero. one is the same okay either zero or one lecturer is assigned is assigned one course is assigned what one course are you following yes it is either zero or one lecturer is assigned zero or one course i think this is realistic it is real so the person could be employed to teach only one course all right okay now we move on sometimes the lecturer must have gotten the skills to teach other courses as well so what do we do we have to also make it in such a way that the lecturer will be able to teach many courses okay at least one lecturer should be able to teach what many courses or one course or many courses should be able to be taught by what one lecturer what is here right so if that is the case uh, if that is the case let me put uh, let me put this one here i think the design is uh, the design that's all right that's all right so okay and then this one must also be there okay and then you bring this one also there and then um, you bring the zero so zero or one cause is assigned to it's assigned to one lecturer okay 
that if we don't flex the database, they are let's just say see a man lecturer about the course are yet to manage them because you remember the course here the man lecturer it must be registered in the database. Okay, you know lecturers register for semester courses that they are going to teach. They register and it's been designed. I'm, I'm using the analogy of Kumasi Technical University. You understand? I am teaching about two courses this semester, which means I'm not teaching only one course. I'm teaching about two courses. You understand? Right. Now, so, so we have a one to one -er. If we design it to mean one to one -er, ah, nah, 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 nah. it means a uh, man one course like this, as a when he's going to teach the other course, as we don't have the lecturer in that field. So what is happening is that we follow the same thing again, and then we say, well, well, the lecturer, one lecturer should be able to teach at least one, zero, one, or many courses. One or many courses. You see, as part of the design. Ah, ah. We have not yet gone into the complication of we have built the foundation block. A higher consultancy on its own. A higher consultancy on its own with its own bills. So then here. Yeah. So I have like I say, okay, one lecturer, <laughs> you understand, one lecturer should be able to teach at least one or many courses. So if that is the case, then Morris can teach many courses. Morris has a lecturer number one, one lecturer can teach many courses. Okay? I hope it's clear here. All right. Now, let's move on to, we are building the foundation block. Let's move on to student and lecture. Student and lecturer. What do you think will be the relationship? Student is a student, not students. Student and lecturer. Can we have zero student and zero lecturers of course for academic purposes we have it for academic purposes we have it so it's going to be the relationship is also going to be like that i hope you are with me All right so the relationship is going to be like this okay the relationship is going to be like that. Zero. Let's go and find it. But you, every time you want to go and find the shapes, just in, click on the insert, okay, and then go to shapes, insert shapes, okay, on your on your on your screen, and then select. They are there. There. What you need is there. So well, then we bring zero. Then we bring what? Zero. Zero students. To zero courses, isn't it? Zero students to zero lecturer. So we insert again shapes to zero lecturer. Then we'll go and pick it back again. I'm taking my time because I'm going to give you some coursework. It's going to be a sentence, you are going to construct it this way for me. As we continue as you continue you're going to do it this way for me okay so we can also say that the the relationship between the students and the lecturer should be zero to zero no lecturer no students no university that is it okay right so that is that is what you see there that is what you see no university we all go away now you can see that uh, had it not been information systems and technology and internet where we are doing this online you realize that uh, i mean coronavirus has actually come to um, <laughs> actually cause the close down of all universities across the world and even elementary schools all of them so there's no relationship when we when we, when we bring it in context of database design there's no relationship zero student zero lecturer so stay at home you understand all right so let's move on let's move on i think that is not real isn't it but for academic purposes it is real 
for academic purpose please when i say academic purpose it's a conceptual conceptual means uh, it's more like theoretical so for theoretical purposes um, it is possible it is possible all right it is possible but it is not applicable in reality no way it is possible because there is nothing you understand it is a conceptual framework a concept because there is nothing absolutely nothing that is why it is zero to zero all right now let's move on let's practicalize it okay students and lecturer let us be real take away this uh and your demand your demand your demand your school will be answering for your bomb okay let's take it off and then let's let us be practical student and lecturer what you do it should be the relationship you understand it could be one student to one lecturer remember the concept one to one one to many many to many it could be one student to one lecturer i hope you are with me right so if that is the case then insects shapes so at least you understand at least one okay so at least i think i need to expand i need to expand the scope of uh, our diagram our links okay other than that okay i think we are on course we are on course now so let me bring this a little bit there and then also bring that one also a little bit here okay that's right fantastic so and then we can also do for we can also do for as I, you see the routine the routine button i click is insert if, if i want to do any drawing insect then I, I select what shapes okay so i have selected my shapes so i only bring it here you understand anytime you want to anytime you want to drag an object just make sure you highlight on it click on it and then make sure you get this you get this thing have you seen it the six have you seen the six square over there then put the cursor there and then press and hold it and begin to drag it to wherever you want to don't see it like that embrace it okay embrace it it will help you it will help you all right anything as i've told you it's not difficult at all we are the full floor but anything a one time we had your drawings microsoft office and a boy made it with your drawings but we have you will you will you will add that softwares ah if it will be a drawing no easy and then them okay yeah, easy okay you will uh microsoft i think professional we you soon your phd and the designing some flow charts okay flow chart uh -huh. so when you quite a friend of flow chart with your friend of flow chart okay so you can like say okay one student can be taught by one lecturer hey one student can only be taught by one lecturer now more be tell formula saying that will not be demonstrated to them someone here is 60 or something now say back one student could be taught by only one lecturer there hey not just say i was saying starting lectures no Pay two days ahead of because 24 hours is equivalent to one day at the best time. Must be a system. And it means that I was able to be Q. So now you view one lecture, you view one lecture, you view one lecture for each student and not a fee number because we're basing 24 hours and you're possible. 48 hours and you're possible. And you even view 48 hours plus 12 hours, which means midnight and send us a bit to be so. Okay, which is <laughs> which is not practical which is not real all right it's not real so what we do is that we flex the database we flex it please i hear you are hanging on the programmers i going to translate it this is a little zero no it's not possible i can't i can't program this because the sql if it is oracle and i will use 
and I say, yeah, uh, even even uh, you can by default. If there is a Microsoft asset, that by default it is one to many. Okay, so the man is say, all right, if that is the case, then one student, so they be a be minimize the cost, and so not affect the efficiency and the database design, you know. Then one student could be taught by many lecturers. You understand? So far as courses are concerned, one student could be taught by many lecturers, any one to one. So far as courses are concerned, okay. So you want to see a couple of shapes now. So also my click on insert. I better select the shapes. Then I find one of this bar. Then I better draw. I better share the neck of the triangle. Are you not here now? I'm going to be share here. Please, one day as you are, I will be more worthy. And yet, then crack, 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 crack. It's very lovely. So yeah, so you know, I'm not confidence level. And cost to insert again because almost every time we back, we back the right, the right hand side to design the cross foot. Every time we back the right hand, right hand side to design the cross foot. And here, no, so many other. Okay, and no, so DNA. Sorry, 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 sorry. My mistake, over Benji. I was saying if we go. Benji. But you must scramble, must scramble so that I can. Come on, what is going on? Must scramble in you can scramble and assemble. Okay, person me. Okay, so let me do, let me go to undo, 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 undo. Correct, my pamano. Ah, pamano. Of course, so let the same part because selected that shape. You no, know. the click towards you as the piano and yet in a rush. The key is not in a rush. You are being trained as a professional. As a professional, what do you call a juma? A non a bema with juma aye. Okay, so see, my select it and I'm the other special. Please, the best juma way. When I give you anything to do, the person why we here, don't give it to anybody to help you. Send me back on our demands on your own. When you be there, you man are efficient. Now the job search are you quick than you? We don't know. We just saw quite a few of them as an interview. We have decided we have to also design this into one to many relationship. Now to you plan our demands on your own. Now you open the mood. You need that you want to meet you know. Please, we need that concept in free time. We don't need to be in the mood. It's a it's it's a lazy idea, irresponsible idea. Okay, it is slow. The mood is that we should not be a good soul. Any day, any day. So look at the relationship. One student or zero could be taught by what? Zero or many lectures. Zero, one or many lectures. Are you know who is saying? Close, and you close, close, and they are coming. I have three, you know. So that's it. Heading towards the lecture, you know. And they are close foot. Uh, many. It means many. So one student, one or zero student, could be taught by zero, one or many lectures. What with the relationship I are building now? Right. Now, to be so bad, you have to be any day. You have to be We are done. So you see, we have interrelated all of them. So data here, data in the student table, you understand, could be found in the course table. And then data about the course table, the data in the course can also be found in the lecture table. Okay? The same way data about students could also be found in the lecture table. Basically, we have related it. Okay? But for academic purposes again, for continuation, we have we have filled the basic foundation block. Okay, we can also say, let me put this one there. I hope you are with me. Okay, so okay, so we, I hope you are with me now. <clears throat> Zero, I mean, the interpretation is in 
one or zero student is taught by zero or I mean one or zero students register for zero or one to many courses okay right so it's the same I haven't changed it but somebody will also sit down there and say wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute you are talking about one to one one to many you have done well lecturer but don't you think that many students can also register for many courses many students can register for many courses of course it is yes it is yes so if that is the case in sets ships pick the bar and then begin to draw begin to draw in sets shape again begin to draw What is this relationship? This relationship means that many students can register for many courses, which is real. Which is as much as understanding is concerned, it's, 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 it's possible. Many students can register for many courses. You understand? Many students can register for many courses. Right. What about uh, courses or course and lecture don't you think somebody can also argue that many lectures can also teach many courses of course it is true many lecturers can teach many courses okay so let us also design let us also design and sana over to me you you are reading from a case study you are going to read from a case study. Let's think carefully. You are going to read from where? A case study. Now, one can say, what the entities number? What the entities? And sometimes, we go to say 10 to 20 entities, depending on the size of the company. So, it means this relationship is many to many. Zero, one to many courses can be taught by zero, one to many lectures. Aha, so, you go to say, zero one to many students can register for zero one to many courses what about students and lecturer many students can be taught by many lectures isn't it all right so let's move on it's possible it is possible the piano and your possible are under the sun it's possible but it's only a pakwanya faso so if that's the case, let's learn how to do it. But more than answer, we wish you and the amame what? We wish you and the amame. It will help you so much. Okay. Yes. And then um, ships again. We pick the bar, and then we have this in place. Okay, so you see, oh, so they are all in many to many, isn't it? So you see, many one or zero students can teach many one or some can register for many one or zero courses, or zero one to many students can register for zero one to many courses. And so that is what you have seen okay but unfortunately and you know this is not possible we only say here database number no rigid and the redundancies and the paper redundancies okay repeated repeated data repeated data in the paper query embedding and it is peter chen peter chen somebody we call peter chen and now uh, or did the idea Everybody said no. See, I am sad here. Oh no, designing. Oh no, did the concept of here diagram grab by first? No, it should be a three more no dimicano for designing. Oh no, it's not no. Dear my database, no, it's not my computerized operations. But Nemoa, Nemoa, no, and my technical database here rigid to to retrieve data with the data to Gumoa, which is easy to to put in, but now a different, they difficult to actually manipulate. Very, very difficult. 
until Peter Chen, the originator of uh, ER diagram, and the buyer said, um, or the, or the concept with Nakao said, This is the problem you people 